Shalom, chaverim. Hi, friends. It's me, Miss Eve. Can you say Shalom, Eve? Shalom. Shalom. Oh, who said that? Of course, it's our chaver, our friend, Mr. Johnny, our mysterious guest. Can everybody say Shalom, Mr. Johnny? Shalom, Mr. Johnny. Can you say Shalom back? Shalom. Shalom! We're so happy that you're here today with us because today we are reading the Torah from the book number four that Arba that it's called Bemidbar. Bemidbar. And before we go on, I remind you to like this video, to share it, to subscribe to our YouTube channel called Toratron, to follow us on Instagram at Toratron for the keywords and the values of the parasha, and also to download your free activity guide with Miss Eve at shalomeve.com. So the parasha of this week, the portion of this week is called Naso. Can everybody say that? Naso. Naso. Top, top, top. And this parasha, God tells Aaron, you know, Moshe's Ach, Moshe's brother, and his sons, the Aaron's sons were, and Aaron were the Kohanim, the high priests, like the high rabbis back then in the desert, to bless the Bnei Israel, the children of Israel, the Israelites, to bless them. The blessing comes from God through the Kohanim. And this blessing is very special. And you know, blessings are a very important value in Judaism, blessings, brachot, one bracha, one blessing, brachot, many blessings. We don't only say blessings before eating and before doing certain things or when we hear something marvelous or thunder, but we also can receive blessings and we can give blessings too. And this blessing is so important until this day, the blessing of the Kohanim, of the priests, because it's the same words, the same blessings that parents say to the children, Birkat Habanim, the blessing of the children. And in many families, every Shabbat, yes, sometimes uh, parents place their hands upon the heads of the children and they receive the blessing. Have you ever heard the blessing? Yes? Yes. Yes, and it's also in our prayers, and sometimes we say it before going to bed. And it has three parts. The first part has to do with safety, with being safe. May God keep you, protect you. Leash more. The second part has to do with grace, to find happiness or joy or to be um, chen, grace. That's the second part. And the third part is shalom. Do you remember what shalom means? What does it mean? It means? Bye. Bye and hello. And it also means? Peace. peace. And peace is where everyone gets along, right? When everybody gets along. So, peace the bracha. Peace is also like quiet. Peace can be quiet, right? And it's very, thank you, Mr. Johnny. And it's very important to have quiet peace in our hearts, right? To be in harmony, to be at peace. Very important too. And the blessing goes like this. It says, Yebarechecha Adonai Veshmerecha. Yaer Adonai Banav Elecha Bihuneka. Isa Adonai Banav Elecha Veyasem Lecha Shalom. Amen. So may God bless us all and may we can also be an instrument, a vehicle, a way of blessing others and may we also receive the blessings of God through others and through God and through this universe with safety, with grace and joy and happiness and with peace, with shalom. Neshika! And thank you Mr. Johnny for joining us today. And I will see you next time. Shalom. Shalom! Thank you for watching, Haverim. Don't forget to subscribe. And please, Bevakasha, share it with your friends, your Haverim, and with your Mishpacha, your family. Tada! Thank you. Shalom! The Torah Tron, open the curtain. Time to begin the show. Sing along the Torah Tron. This is your story, the play where you belong. Sing along. We present for you today the Shabbat 
treasure.